Thanks for your company, Gemini. Dedici here from astrology.com.au. It's March 2019. Take a look at your horoscope. <laughs> this is it. This is where the planets are juxtaposed against your sun sign of Gemini, Moon, Saturn, Pluto, the south node or past karma point in Venus, all in this eighth house of your horoscope, which is one of the more complex areas of the zodiac to decipher. I want to talk also in the opposite side of this complex, what we call a stellium, the future karma planet or point, Rahu, the north node, moving through your second house of finance. If you watch the introduction to this month, I talked about how the North Node is tied in with your desire nature. It doesn't often fulfill that, but when it does, it may not necessarily fulfill that permanently. And if it does give you something, it may actually take it away. Finance, wealth and career, other people's money. These are the themes this month. Important. And so this shows that your desire to achieve more financial satisfaction needs to be balanced against who you are as a person and how you handle that. <clears throat> Venus on the first moves straight into the ninth house of your horoscope, bringing with it, fortunately, a philosophical flavor to the chart that's going to balance some of this other stuff here you could do very very well this month actually professionally it's always nice having mercury and the sun in the upper part of the horoscope so sorry about that um this has to do with gaining the approval of your superiors getting some sort of promotional opportunity and generally shining in the professional area. Jeez, I can't keep these people away, can I? Let me just shut that down for a moment. If I can, I won't bother about it. Um, I'm losing my train of thought. So definitely good here. The seriousness here of the moon and Saturn is not so good as far as other people's money is concerned. You need to clarify matters there if you're doing any sort of deals. And the new moon takes place on the 7th and that again focuses the attention to this career sector of your horoscope, showing us that new beginnings are underway. Notice however the retrogression here of Mercury. When Mercury is retrograde, there is certainly some revision that needs to take place. So the opportunities are there, but it's not till later in the month when this planet goes direct back into your 11th house of fulfillment that you're likely to see the full benefits of these opportunistic planets. So there's the moon moving quickly through the zodiac. Also, you'll notice the transit of Uranus into your 12th house, another spiritual house along with this 8th house, countering all of this worldly, professional, financial desire that you've got. So finding balance in that respect is going to be one of your um, key challenges this month. You've still got this very, very lovely Jupiter influence impacting on your sun sign. So that's protecting you irrespective of what's happening here, whatever tension, whatever uh, sort of intense desires you have that you don't feel are being fulfilled. You still have the fortifying influence of Jupiter here. Something good is likely to happen and I think just as soon as you see uh, Mercury moving into its forward direction, that is the likely time of that. The 26th sees the transit of Venus also back into the 10th house. 
it's, it's like all the planets are focusing their attention here for you. And I think it's excellent. I think it's a month where you should make your intentions known if you're looking for new work, if you're looking for additional income or support from the group, from your partner, from financiers, if you're in an independent line of business and you're an entrepreneur, these are all the sorts of areas that can very much provide you the satisfaction that you want. But I keep coming back to good old Rahu. Don't let the desire nature overtake you. Remain calm and realize that everything is temporary. Everything is passing. And if you can do that, you'll be in a better position to just take things in your stride and not get overwrought. I did miss one aspect here, which I wanted to talk about, which was the, <clears throat> the 21st, the full moon taking place here within the fourth house. So this is a lovely one, and it is the area of the horoscope that shows us precisely where your satisfaction is. We see here Virgo on the fourth house, and when the full moon is there, it can bring with it that satisfaction that you're looking for. Um, that's the start of it. We still haven't got to this direct movement of Mercury, which takes place around the 28th, just there. It goes stationary, then forward, right on the last couple of days of the month. So some good news will come to you, I believe. There'll be some forward movement in your work, in your finances, in your social activities, as shown by the sun. But it's not until that retrograde cycle of Mercury finishes that you can really say, I've, I've got it in the bag now. And that's a nice end to the month. Pay a visit to astrology.com.au. I always push that. We've got more information on the month. I've typed it all up for you so you can just get this in a bit more of a context because I normally fly through this pretty quickly. And uh, by all means, join me again next month. I look forward to your company. Take care now.